We'll throw DeSantis against the wall, see if he sticks, because his spaghetti ass is done, y'all. That's right, the DeSantis campaign is now up there with New Coke and Segway on the list of history's most overhyped, colossal failures. Oh, poor fella. I mean, he, he's probably at least a little bit relieved, I bet. He don't have to simulate human emotion anymore. How's a real man emote like a poorly rendered NPC, man? Like somebody tells him a joke or something, he's just like... <laughs> And then, like, the sadness starts to creep in the eyes as the smile fades towards the end every time. He's like, <laughs> and you're just watching, like, I don't think this little tippy toes tyrant is having much fun anymore. Now, now, but here's my main takeaway from the DeSantis thing. Ever since Trump, you know, people have said, like, you think Trump's bad. Wait till you see the next crop, the ones that are inspired by Trump, but that are smart and competent and stuff. And I used to be like, yeah, that don't sound good. But DeSantis has showed us all that that's a fallacy because, like, if a want to be Trump is smart, then they can't be Trump. That's the whole deal, baby. You can't coach that. It's like when people try to make a so bad it's good movie on purpose. It's like, no, you have to mean the awful stupidity. You can't fake it. You have to feel the awful stupidity in your bones or these people will sniff you out. And I appreciate Ron for teaching us all that lesson. I'm actually on my way to his homeland down there. I'll be in Orlando and Tampa this week, so maybe I can flip off a billboard in person. Looking forward to it. Either way, good riddance to you, Ron. Don't let the door hit you, all that good stuff. And I love you, and see you next time.